Sigma males often dislike schools and institutions that claim to help minds grow but end up limiting how creative people can be. So the strict courses, tests that everyone has to take the same way, and the pressure to follow what everyone else does in school make people wonder what the real point of learning is. It might sound harsh, but instead of preparing future leaders, these places are just creating people who follow orders without questioning them, which takes away their sense of being their own person right from when they start growing up. However, Sigma males, who really value being unique, don't let this system change them. This is why they dislike certain things that seem normal to others. They've been taught from the start to question a system that values following authority blindly, not asking questions and not thinking for themselves. This disagreement with mainstream values shows up when a Sigma male challenges the usual ways things are done. What seems normal to others is seen very differently by a Sigma male. It's not about being proud. It's more about saying no to the rules we're told to follow as we grow. Sigma males especially don't like the pressure to conform. The idea that you should always follow the group and being discouraged from thinking in new ways. So let's talk about what these everyday dislikes are for Sigma males. Megma males express a profound dislike for the glorification of busy as a status symbol, which is prevalent in many cultures today. This aversion stems from their understanding that being perpetually busy is not synonymous with being productive, successful, or fulfilled. They see the constant hustle and the societal pressure to always be doing something as not only unsustainable, but also as a potential barrier to genuine happiness and personal growth. The Sigma male perspective values quality over quantity, especially in terms of how time is spent. They believe in the importance of deliberate, meaningful activities that contribute to one's goals and well-being, rather than a ceaseless cycle of tasks that serves more to display a facade of importance than to achieve real progress. Sigma males advocate for a balanced approach to life, where there is time for work, reflection, leisure, and relationships, recognizing that downtime is essential for creativity, problem-solving, and mental health. This critique of the busy culture is not a call for idleness, but a plea for mindfulness and intentionality in how we choose to use our time. Sigma males challenge the notion that value and respectability come from overwork and the neglect of self-care and personal interests. They are proponents of the idea that rest and relaxation are not rewards but necessities for a balanced and productive life. Their rejection of the glorification of busy is also a reflection of their desire for authenticity and meaningful achievement. Sigma males prefer to measure success by the impact of their actions and the fulfillment of their aspirations, not by the number of hours logged or tasks completed. They encourage a culture that respects boundaries, values mental health, and recognizes the diverse ways in which individuals can contribute to society without sacrificing their well-being on the altar of perpetual busyness. Number 2. Sigma males have a distinct dislike for excessive consumerism and the relentless pursuit of material possessions, a trait that sets them apart in a world often captivated by the latest trends and gadgets. This aversion is rooted in their belief in the importance of substance over superficiality and the value of experiences over possessions. They see consumer culture as a distraction from what truly matters in life. Personal growth, relationships, and the Sigma males are skeptical of society's emphasis on material success as a measure of worth and happiness. They question the endless cycle of acquiring and discarding, which not only has environmental implications, but also perpetuates a sense of dissatisfaction and emptiness. To them, the pursuit of material wealth for its own sake is a misguided endeavor that diverts attention and resources from more meaningful pursuits. Instead, Sigma males advocate for a more minimalist and intentional approach to life, where choices are made based on need, value, and sustainability rather than impulse or social pressure. They prefer investing in quality over quantity, choosing items that serve a purpose, bring joy, or have a lasting impact. This mindset extends beyond personal consumption to a broader critique of societal values, challenging the notion that happiness can be bought or that success can be measured by material accumulation. Their disdain for excessive consumerism is also a reflection of their independence and self-reliance. Sigma males derive satisfaction from their achievements, creativity, and the quality of their relationships, rather than from the symbols of status or wealth. 
They embody the principle that true contentment comes from within and from the connections we make with others and the world around us, not from the possessions we accumulate. Number 9. Sigma males exhibit a strong aversion to rigid, hierarchical structures that prioritize status and position over talent and contribution. They are naturally inclined towards systems and environments that recognize and reward individuals based on their abilities and the value they bring, rather than their rank or title. This preference stems from their deep-seated belief in meritocracy and the idea that true leadership and influence should be earned through one's efforts and skills, not bestowed based on one's position in an organizational chart. In traditional hierarchical organizations, decisions and directions often flow top-down, with little room for input or innovation from those at lower levels. Sigma males find this model stifling, as it limits creativity, discourages independent thought, and perpetuates a culture of compliance over collaboration. They are frustrated by scenarios in which bureaucracy impedes progress and where being in a position of authority can override logic and expertise. Sigma males thrive in environments that encourage open dialogue, where ideas are judged on their merits rather than the seniority of their proponents. They value workplaces and social structures that foster a sense of egalitarianism, where everyone, regardless of their role or status, has the opportunity to contribute and influence out to their. Their disdain for rigid hierarchies is not a rejection of leadership or organization, but a call for a more inclusive and dynamic approach that recognizes and leverages the strengths of all members. This aversion to traditional hierarchies also reflects their desire for autonomy and self-direction. Sigma males prefer to chart their own course, relying on their competence and intuition rather than waiting for directions from above. They see potential in every individual to lead and innovate, given the right conditions and freedom to do so. In essence, Sigma males champion a shift towards a more meritocratic and less hierarchical society that values substance over status, where leadership is a role to be performed, not a title to be held. A disdain for inauthentic praise and insincere compliments ranks highly among the everyday dislikes of Sigma males. They have a keen eye for authenticity and can easily distinguish between genuine admiration and flattery that serves an ulterior motive. Sigma males value sincerity and integrity, both in themselves and in their interactions with others. They see inauthentic praise not as a form of encouragement, but as a manipulative tactic that undermines the principles of honesty and authenticity they hold to a Sigma male. Insider compliments are a form of social currency used by some to navigate interpersonal relationships without investing genuine effort or emotion. Mockrace's approach to communication stands in stark contrast to the Sigma male's preference for deep, meaningful connections built on a foundation of trust and mutual respect. They are not interested in superficial accolades that inflate the ego without substance. Rather, they seek recognition that is rooted in reality, reflective of their true achievements and character. The dislike for inauthentic praise extends beyond a personal preference. It is emblematic of a broader disdain for societal norms that prioritize appearance over substance. Sigma males challenge this paradigm by fostering relationships and environments where honesty prevails and genuine achievements are celebrated. They encourage a culture of authenticity where compliments are given with sincerity, reflecting a true appreciation for one's qualities or accomplishments. In a world where flattery is often employed as a means to an end, Sigma males stand out for their refusal to engage in or accept such exchanges. They advocate for a more authentic mode of interaction where compliments are not just empty words but meaningful expressions of respect and admiration. So this insistence on authenticity not only defines their personal interactions but also serves as a call to action for others to embrace a more genuine and transparent way of relating to one another. Mumble bragging is the nuanced art of self-promotion cloaked in humility a behavior that notably clashes with the principles held by Sigma males. These individuals place a high premium on authenticity and straightforward self-expression, preferring to let their achievements stand on their own merits rather than embellishing them with a facade of modesty. Sigma males are characterized by their belief in the power of genuine accomplishments to speak volumes, eschewing the need for self-aggrandizement or the guise of false modesty.
This preference is rooted in their core value of authenticity, guiding their disdain for any form of communication that seeks validation through indirect or deceitful means. For Sigma males, the path to personal growth and success is inherently a solitary journey, one that does not require nor seek the approval or admiration of others. In stark contrast, humble bragging is seen as an overt attempt to garner approval and recognition under the pretense of humility a tactic that Sigma males find fundamentally unappealing. Mammalis place great importance on the deliberate use of language, with each word and sentence crafted to convey specific meaning and intent. They subscribe to the philosophy that effective communication should not depend on an incessant use of profanity to them. Swearing is often seen as a shortcut, a deviation from the thoughtful articulation of ideas and is fundamentally at odds with their ethos of pursuing excellence and clarity in all forms of expression. Sigma males regard the process of meticulously selecting the appropriate words to precisely express thoughts as a reflection of both intellect and integrity. This preference for precision over profanity can be especially apparent in professional settings where the exchange of ideas is paramount. Imagine a scenario in a meeting where critical topics are being discussed, and every argument is underpinned by substantial evidence and well-reasoned logic. In such a context, the introduction of unnecessary swear words by an individual in an attempt to assert their point not only represents a breach of linguistic decorum, but also signifies a deeper misalignment of values with sigma males. For them, the habitual reliance on swearing detracts from the authenticity and depth of a conversation reducing the richness of language to mere expletives. It's a practice that, in their view, cheapens the act of communication, transforming it into a less meaningful exchange. Consequently, constant swearing emerges as not just a minor annoyance, but a significant linguistic peeve for sigma males, undermining the very essence of the thoughtful and measured dialogue they strive for. Therefore, in the presence of a sigma male, it is advisable to be mindful of one's word choice, favoring genuine and articulate expression over the casual insertion of swear words. Self-centeredness stands in stark contrast to the values espoused by sigma males who are particularly averse to individuals who exhibit an inability to look beyond their personal sphere. This perspective is not grounded in complexity. Sigma males see it as a straightforward issue. For them, failing to recognize and appreciate the importance of giving attention to others is a clear indication of selfishness, a trait they find deeply under Their disdain for self-centered behavior isn't driven by a desire for personal attention. Rather, it stems from the way such attitudes disrupt the balance they strive to maintain between their social interactions and their cherished independence. Sigma males are critical of those who are perpetually absorbed in their own world, likening such individuals to narcissus, forever captivated by their reflection, unable to break free from a self-imposed cycle of self-admiration. This self-absorption is seen not just as a personal failing, but as a threat to the collective harmony and the potential for meaningful connections. Sigma males champion the cause of unity and mutual respect. Understanding that self-centeredness undermines the foundation of genuine friendship and collaboration. In their interactions, Sigma males are not the ones to passively sit back and applaud someone's solo performance that solely celebrates their achievements or interests. They are actively seeking deeper, more authentic connections that transcend superficial engagement to them. Relationships should be built on a bedrock of sincerity and mutual respect, not dominated by one person's ego. Therefore, in the presence of a sigma male, it's advisable to eschew any overt self-focused behavior in favor of fostering a more inclusive and genuine exchange. Small talk is anathema to sigma males, primarily because it represents everything they stand against, inauthenticity and superficiality. These individuals hold authenticity in high regard and are deeply uncomfortable with conversations that lack depth or genuine connection. For Sigma males, engaging in small talk is not just unfulfilling, it's akin to a misallocation of their mental resources. They see it as an exhaustive exercise that yields little to no value, preferring instead to channel their energy into pursuits that are meaningful to them, such as their personal goals, passions and interests. The analogy of running on a treadmill is apt to describe their view on small talk. It's an activity that involves considerable effort but doesn't actually get them anywhere. 
They perceive it as a form of communication that merely skims the surface, never diving into the depths of thought or emotion that they find stimulating. To Sigma males, time is a precious commodity, and spending it on trivialities like small talk feels like a squandered opportunity to engage in more substantial, impactful discussions. They crave conversations that are rich, thought-provoking, and intellectually rewarding. Dialogues that challenge their minds and foster a sense of connection based on shared insights or discoveries. The preference for deep, meaningful interaction over casual chatter is a reflection of their disdain for conformity and a herd mentality. Sigma males identify more with the archetype of the lone wolf standing apart from the crowd than with the sheep who contentedly follow along. This desire for profound engagement over superficial exchanges underscores their quest for authenticity and their rejection of anything that feels contrived or insubstantial. None like many who seek out social interaction as if it were as vital as air. Sigma males find their greatest strength and clarity within the quietude of their own company. Their preference for solitude isn't born out of antisocial tendencies, but rather from a profound appreciation for the introspective journey solitude facilitates. Yes, everyone requires a certain degree of personal space, but for Sigma males, the significance of solitude transcends the usual need for occasional respite from social engagements. It's not an escape from society, but a deliberate move towards deeper self-connection. For Sigma males, solitude is a sanctuary where they can recharge their batteries, engage in deep reflection, and strategize their forward march in the intricate dance of life. This time alone is not merely beneficial but critical to their well-being and mental clarity. It allows them the freedom to explore their thoughts, feelings, and aspirations without the external noise and distractions that often accompany social interactions. The societal tendency to mislabel Sigma males as loners, introverts, or antisocial is a misunderstanding of their nature. They are not against forming social connections, rather they are highly selective about when and with whom they choose to interact. Their aversion is not to people per se, but to the cacophony of demands and expectations that can sometimes dominate social spaces, drowning out the inner voice that guides them. Sigma males value the silence, not because they disdain the company of others, but because they understand the importance of reconnecting with their own inner selves. The need for solitude is deeply ingrained in their psyche, representing a vital component of their identity. It's in these quiet moments alone that they find the strength to face the world on their terms, armed with a clearer sense of purpose and direction. Number 2. Sigma males navigate the social world much like undercover agents, valuing their independence and autonomy above the fleeting and often superficial connections that typify social media interactions. The relentless pursuit of likes, shares, and public validation that defines much of the social media landscape is antithetical to their ethos. These individuals do not seek affirmation from the digital crowd. Instead, they derive their sense of self-worth from an internal compass, guided by personal achievements and self-reflection. They prefer embarking on a path of self-discovery over succumbing to the transient allure of online acclaim. The pervasive culture of envy, competition, and comparison fostered by social media platforms is a milieu Sigma males find particularly distasteful. They recognize the value in striving for excellence, but reject the notion that success should come at the cost of mutual respect and dignity. Culturi and social media, with its propensity to blur the lines between reality and fabrication through carefully curated personas, stands in stark contrast to the authenticity Sigma males espouse. They lead by example, not by following the crowd or adhering to the latest viral trends. Their aversion to social media is not a reflection of antisocial tendencies, but a conscious choice to remain true to their core principles. Sigma males understand the power of genuine connections and meaningful interactions, which they believe are diluted in the vast, often impersonal expanse of the digital world. They view social media as a potential impediment to genuine self-expression and individuality, preferring environments that foster true creativity and personal growth. My killing essence, Sigma males do not disdain social media for its role in facilitating communication. Rather, they are critical of how it encourages conformity and discourages the authenticity and independence they hold dear. Number 1. 
A poor listening during conversations strikes a particularly discordant chord with sigma males who value deep, meaningful exchanges above superficial interactions as independent thinkers and impactful contributors to any dialogue. They seek out authentic engagement that fosters mutual understanding and connection. Sigma males are not ones to indulge in idle talk. Their conversations are often imbued with reflections and insights that demand thoughtful consideration. Therefore, when someone fails to listen, it doesn't merely irritate them. It fundamentally undermines the principles of genuine communication and respect that Sigma males up these individuals approach conversations with a straightforward and sincere mindset, anticipating a level of attentiveness and respect that mirrors their own. For Sigma males, communication is not a one-way street, but a dynamic exchange of ideas and perspectives. Thus, when the courtesy of active listening is not reciprocated, it feels like a direct affront to their ethos. In their view, respect is something to be earned through genuine interaction and engagement, and a lack of active listening signifies a failure to value the exchange. Disregard not only breaches the etiquette of respectful discourse, but can also provoke a strong reaction from Sigma males. They perceive such behavior as not only impolite, but also indicative of a broader lack of consideration and empathy. Hence, when engaging in conversation with a Sigma male, one would do well to fully engage and listen. This not only fosters a richer and more meaningful dialogue, but also signals a respect for the values and principles that Sigma males hold in highest Thank you for your attention. You can now become a member of the channel by clicking the join button under this video. See you in the next one.